What's up, collectors? P Rockzilla back again, and today we're gonna be doing a Godzilla review. Oh, I've been waiting for this figure. This figure, I needed this one to complete my trio to go with Godzilla and Kong. And of course, this is the SH Monster Arts Mecha Godzilla from the 2021 Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. This guy came out a few months ago overseas. I uh, did not, this time I did not pre order him through an overseas site, so I did get him a little bit later, but hey. The point is, I got him, and I'm happy to finally have him here, get this guy opened up to ha finally have him pose with my other two figures from that movie. So as always, let's get this review started. Dale. <laughs> So let's take a look at the box before we get this beautiful piece outside the box. As you can see here, you got the picture of Mega Godzilla there. You got your official sticker there, your Toho information there, the year the figure was made. You got your legal information down here, bluefin. Up here, got the Mega Godzilla name on the sides. You got another picture of Mega Godzilla there. In the back, you got a picture of Mega Godzilla there. And a nice cool battle scene right there. I'm going to try to replicate something like this as one of the final poses. And then just Mecha Godzilla there. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get this beast the box out open. the box. Let's go ahead and get the box out the way so we can see exactly what comes in the package. And with most of these SCA figure arts monsters, you normally don't get many accessories. You normally just get basically the figure. And this is basically what we have here. So we have the Mecha Godzilla right here. So, of course, let's go ahead and take him out first. And take off this protection part right here. And as you can see, we have the monster there. And we have his interchangeable hands. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get these, both of these, him and the hands, out. So we can take a better look at the figure and the accessories. Now we have Mecha Godzilla laid out with the two accessories to come with. And of course, let's always take a look at the figure first. Let's want to see how accurate this is to the movie. So as you can see here, let me just see something real quick, bring my line up a little bit more, just so we can see some more of the details. All right, so you got the little red eyes, which was known for in the movie. And you got these little shoulder pads. Okay, that moves too. Now, one thing I gotta admit, man, like I'm a huge Godzilla fan, and I have all the other uh, Mecha Godzilla figure forms in the SH Monster Arts line. This guy, when I first saw him, I, I saw one prototype picture that he looked pretty cool. But then when I finally saw this guy right here on screen, I was a little upset. I'm not going to lie. I was a little upset because he looks too skinny to me. Like, look at the size of his arms compared to his waist. Like, these, his thighs. Haha, <laughs> thighs. I always make my way back to the thighs. But the thighs should have been a little bit more bulkier. The arms, at least in the upper portion right here, should have been a little more bulkier. It, lo it looks too flat going all the way down. Same thing with the legs. Like, I wish this portion right the thighs and then, like, the bicep portions were a little bit thicker on this figure. Or right, actually, on the character in the movie. But, I do like the spines. The dorsal fins right here. I like that. That looks pretty good. And in figure form, it actually looks better than it did in the movie. So, it actually looks really cool here in figure form. As you can see, the dorsal fins going all the way down. And then you can see the articulation here in the front. Now, uh... Some parts of the structures didn't make sense, but from what I can see, let's go ahead and look at their articulation real quick. So the arms, you got to be careful with these figures because sometimes they could be some QC issues and sometimes they're good. All right, so you get a butterfly joint at the shoulders right here on both sides. The shoulder pads do move up more to give you more articulation. Same thing on this side. And... Not sure if the hands, let's see. So you can put the hands, ooh, let me just push this up a little bit just to be sure I don't hit nothing. It's a little stiff there, so we got a little nervous about that. So it looks like it is, when you articulate the shoulder, you gotta watch out for this point right here because it looks like it is kind of getting a uh, hit right there. The two plastic parts are hitting each other, so it limits the articulation. Yeah, I'm not sure if this can, no, that can not go up. All right, so the arms can go up that high. Let's try to go ahead and this one. This one's a little tighter. Just gonna put them down for some support. I don't want to break my new figure, man. Especially the Godzilla figure. All right, so there goes the hands. The arms can go about that high. Does get bent. Ooh, even these joints are tight. Let's do this softly. 
Ugh, damn, that's tight. That has me nervous. So I, I can tell it could bend more, but it's giving me a lot of tension here, and I don't want to break my figure. Let's try this arm. Let's see if I can bend this one more. So yeah, so you do get more of a bend here on the, on the elbow. I just got to loosen that joint a little bit more. And do you get pivot at all? Let's see. Yep, you, so at the elbow, you do get pivot at the elbow. So you can twist the elbow around. Now, these hands, they do twist at the wrist, but the fingers are not articulated. That's what the other hands come for. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. All right, so he does move that. So let's see something. The head, let's see the head. The head can move up pretty good. It can go down pretty good. Actually, it goes down better than it goes up. So, and then let's see if the mouth opens. And these joints are pretty stiff, man. It's been a while since I had an SH figure arts with a stiff joints. Let's see if I can get that mouth open more. Let's see how far I can get that. All right, so the mouth does open. Not too much, but it does open up a decent amount right there. And you do get twisted to neck. You do get twist. So that's good. Uh, there is no ab articulation. You cannot, let's see, nope, cannot go up or down at the abs or twist. So he's basically static throughout the upper body portion. One cool thing is he does supposedly, according to the instructions, you could open these panels somehow. There we go. If you open these panels, he does have the weaponry system with the missiles that come out from there on his chest, his abs. So you could do that. Just close that back up. Also, on the shoulder pad, supposedly, right here. Let's see if I can get this opened up. This supposedly opens up, too. Let's see if I can get something in there real quick. Eh, there we go. Oh, oh, I had it. Even this is true. Yeah, there we go. So the shoulder pads actually open up to reveal the cannons up here also. So that's a cool hidden feature right there. As you can see the difference between the two when it's opened up to reveal the weaponry and when it's closed. So let's go ahead and close that back up. All right, so let's get on to the legs. Now, one thing I, I do got to read the instructions too, be careful with these pistons. They can rub and possibly miss this place, but as you can see, that's pretty cool articulation right there. As you can see, it's coming. the pistons are coming out. From the, oh, see? Yeah, see? It says that in structure, you got to be careful with the pistons because if you pull it out too much, they could detach there. So it's a little, a little pain in the butt thing, but something you can work around. So just basically be careful when you do that with the pistons. So the legs can go far out. Same thing, this is, no, this doesn't articulate like the other portion. And you do, I'm scared, man. This thing is delicate. Not delicate, but so many moving parts here. I'm afraid to, let's see, does it have... I don't know if I can adjust this right here. Let's see if I can move the legs back and forth. So yeah, you cut a little bit, but you gotta be careful with those pistons. So that's gonna be a little tricky system with this figure. All right, so the knees do bend. And you do go back, same thing. You get a piston action down in the bottom. As you can see back here, you can see the pistons right there, move. That's a cool feature, but it is a little pain in the ass. All right, so you get that right there, both legs. And let's see, and the same thing with the feet. The feet can go down this much. And you do see that piston action right there too. So as you can see there. And then you want to adjust that up so they can move more further up too. Does he get twist at the, nope, no twist at the knees. Uh, you got a little bit of twist right here above the thigh. But once again, you got to be careful with these pistons. Don't want to break that by accident. The tail, now the tail portion is like every other SH Figure Arts monster in the line where every portion of the tail kind of has its own joint. As you can see here, watch, joint there, joint there, joint there, there, there. We keep going all the way down. So the tails are always usually pretty good for articulation. Now this, I wonder if, it doesn't show us the structure. It would have been cool if they had the option to kind of open up these blades to kind of have the, the scene where... He's kind of stabbing or about to stab Kong. 
but the tail is fully articulated as you can see here you can have basically do anything you want with the tail so you have no problem with the tails at all this is the least of my worries when it comes to these figures the tails now some do have the issues where they pop off easily but this one does not so that's pretty cool so yeah um trying to see if i miss any pieces in the bottom i'm just a little nervous i mean as you can see there, there is some looks like there is some die cast in the joints you can see that metal there and i did put a magnet to it and it did stick so that it's telling it's metal there so there's some die cast on the joints but it's just so tricky to move see these pistons it's a good feature. I like that, but I don't know. But then again, did he, he, oh, wait, see, you know, it does move up and down more. I'm just nervous to do that. All right. Now for the hands that he comes with. So these are the hands that he comes with. These are the closing hands. And you can swap these out. But what you could do is you can mix and match. You can have them fully closed. Or you can have them fully open. But one thing you could do with the hands if you want to mix it up is you basically soft, slowly... Remove that piece right there. As you can see, there's a peg to a peg there and a hole there. And basically, what you could do is take these hands and swap, take this one off right here too, and swap them with this one. So you could basically have, instead of fully open and fully closed, you could have one open and one closed on top. So it could be different articulation looking at the hands. So I'll go ahead and do that. Basically, I'm going to do my final poses to kind of uh, show you guys that real quick. And then the hands normally come off pretty easy. Just pull them off just like this. Ooh, ooh. Let's see, there goes that piece right there. It came off. All right, I'll pull that off. I'll show you guys later that. Basically, the hands just pull off right there real easily. The peg stays in, and you just slide this part right in there. So as you can see there, see? Ooh, almost dropped that. As you can see there, the hands do come out there. So I'll, I'll show you a quick example. Let's take this portion off and swap them. So basically, you can do this. Show you real quick. And you can do it like that, where you have one hand open, one hand closed, if you wanted to do like a different gripping action. So you have options with this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and get him sized up for a size Here's comparison. Godzilla with his hands up in the air, waving like he just don't care because he's excited to finally be in my collection. So of course, let's go ahead and grab some figures from the same line and the same movie. And this is gonna be my boy, the 2021 Godzilla vs. King Kong, Godzilla. So we have Godzilla next to Mecha Godzilla. As you can see, Mecha Godzilla is taller than Godzilla, which was like that in the movie, so that's accurate. And of course, let's go ahead and bring in the other person from the movie. Now, this guy has some, if you guys can see, look at his joints. I think SH Figure Arts went the cheap route with this line right here, except for the Mecha Godzilla, but. This guy can barely stand. You gotta like, kind of like lean him against things. As you can see, look, he's starting to slide. Woo! Look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and try to get this guy fixed. Let's go ahead. You got... Whoa, don't slide on me, boy. Don't slide on me. Oh, my God. Look at this. All right. So there we have Kong. As you can see, Godzilla is bigger than Kong. And Mecha Godzilla is bigger than Kong and Godzilla, which, is, like I said, is accurate for the movie. And last but not least, let's go ahead and bring another SH Figure Arts Kaiju, Monster Arts. And this is going to be one of my favorite villains and one of the biggest villains. This is Destroyer. And as you can see, Destroyer is a beast. If you include the horn, he is taller than the Mecha Godzilla. But if you don't include the horn, they're about the same height. Mecha Godzilla is a little bit taller. Now, Bear in mind, I did bend the legs out more on the Mecha Godzilla to kind of see how far I get with the articulation. So he is in a little bit, little bit taller position, but he still is a big kaiju, a big robotic kaiju. All right, guys and ladies, so now you can see how this guy would fit in your collection. So let's go ahead and do final thoughts and final poses. There's Kong and Godzilla taking on Mecha Godzilla. Mega Godzilla has Godzilla in a chokehold as Godzilla's gonna try to charge atomic breath to blast away or at least attempt to blast away Mega Godzilla. But as you can see, Mega Godzilla grabbed him by the throat and said, nah, 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 that ain't happening here, man. But what he doesn't see, or maybe he does, because if you can see, his cannon and his tail are kind of pointing towards Kong. 
but maybe he doesn't see Kong coming in from the sky and perhaps Godzilla's smart and Mechagodzilla thinks he is. Maybe he's aiming the atomic breath up above to Godzilla's axe to kind of power it up like he did in the movie to get that final blow on Mechagodzilla. We will never know. But as you can see, these guys look incredible together. He does feel better compared to the other two, uh, Kong and um, Godzilla. He does feel more premium. The other two feel a little more on the cheaper end compared to other SH figure art monster, monster art uh, figures I have. But this Mega Godzilla is cool. He is limited in the articulation, which is the only negative I kind of see in him. And like I said, just the design overall. I wish he was a little more bulkier. At least, you know, on the upper thighs, up, you know, on the upper arms and around the waist and chest area. I wish he was a little bit more uh, bulkier robot. But he, he does the job. The spines, the dorsal fins, I love the way those are. His tail actually articulates way more than I thought previously. Because as you can see, I had troubles articulating Godzilla's tail there. He can't really go up as much. But Mecha Godzilla has that awesome tail that can arch up. I wish he can go up a little bit higher. But it is what it is. You can get, you take what you give. And I'm happy with this purchase. I'm happy to finally have the three together. Um, trying to think, and uh, the only thing is, I don't think the hands actually do come out. At least I was having a hard time trying to remove the hands to kind of swap out. So I just did swap out the fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with some more after I finish this review, just to kind of you know mess around with the hands more, see if they fully they do fully come out. Um, and the same thing with the with the legs. I want to kind of mess around with the legs more, see how far I can get with the bending before it causes any damage to the actual character or character or figure. Don't want to mess up my Mega Godzilla. I've been waiting for this guy for a long time, as you can tell. So I kind of want to make sure he's a pristine piece. Like, you know, nothing wrong with him and displayed perfectly in my display. Mega Godzilla 2021, along with all the other Mega Godzillas I have in my SH Monster Arts figure line. We have the original uh, Mega Godzilla, then the, the one in the middle, and then the newest one according to the movies, which is the one, the blue backpack. And then finally, we have the 2021 Mega Godzilla. And he is obviously a lot bigger than all the other Mecha Godzillas. Um, they made this Godzilla Mecha Godzilla a little bit bigger compared to the other ones from the previous movies. And the ones in the previous movies, the Mecha Godzillas, if I remember correctly, were all about the same height as Godzilla, maybe just a little bit taller. This Mecha Godzilla is a lot bigger than the Godzilla from the movie. He's a lot bigger than the other Godzillas from the previous lines. Now, to me, he's not the coolest one. I think to me. Uh, he's probably like of all the mega guys, maybe like my third favorite of all these right here. Um, he is more detailed, but very limited on articulation. And like I said, just the design in general of this mega Godzilla, I'm not a huge fan of. But as a Dragon Dragon Ball, what am I saying? As a Godzilla fan, I am a Dragon Ball fan too. But as a Godzilla fan, I had to have this guy in my collection. I couldn't have him without. My Kong and Godzilla from that movie. I had to have them all three together. And I had to complete my Mecha Godzilla line also. As I have all of them so far. The only one I don't have is the one that transforms. Which is not really in the movie. It's more of a, a concept from the poster. The one that turns into the it transforms I think to like the jet or whatever. I don't have that one. Wasn't planning to get that one. I kind of regret not picking it up. Just because it was a one off. Um, but it's a, little, it's a little bit pricier right now. As you can as most people know from these, this line right here, SS Monster Arts, these figures do hold their value and actually go up in value within like maybe double, triple the price of what they are for their retail price. So if you're a fan, you take good care of these figures. These are valuable pieces. And I'm not the type of person that sells figures, but if you were that type of person, the SH Monster Arts line is a line, at least the previous ones. Now with these newer ones, they're... I used to do this guys that was not as good, but they do hold their value and they do go up in price and they rarely make reissues. I mean, there may be SH Monsters does do kind of like a reissue, but they call it a repaint version where it's the same one, just a different paint. So if you still have the original, it will keep the value of it, but they do update them as time goes on where they update the paint application on them, or they might add, you know, a, a few more updates to the, to the joints, but normally they don't reissue stuff. So if you get these and you keep them, like I said, in good condition, they should go up in value. But like I said, that's not what I'm in the collection for. Me, I'm just a Godzilla fan. I got to have all these pieces. So as always, people, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please hit that like, subscribe button, click the bell notification. And as always, 
Keep collecting. Stay safe. Be good. Love some kaijus. Dale.